Okay. Here's a quick video. How I got my new Seed Studio Bluetooth Shield to talk with my Android devices. For a video, I'm using my Asus Transformer as the Android device. And it will pair with the Bluetooth Shield in slave mode. The sketch I wrote is really simple. It combines two fairly simple tutorial projects. Um, demonstrate some remote control over Bluetooth how the shield can relay that data back to the Android device. The sketch will follow Seed Studio's demo code for setting up the shield in slave mode and I've added the ability to toggle blinking LED read the temperature uh, from a TMP 36 temperature sensor. So let's get the device set here. We're going to reset it. Now see how that red light's blinking? means that the device hasn't been paired yet and uh, we're going to go over here we're going to say you know, search for devices just going to find the seed B2 slave select that enter four zeros for the pin say ok now we're going to go to an app called Blue Term. Check out from the Play Store. As you can see, I was in here playing around earlier, but if I send a T to the shield, oh, well, it hasn't paired yet. Now let's go back. Bluetooth. All right, so it's paired. I forgot you got to go into Blue Term. You hit the menu. You got to connect device. Select a device, and it should be connected now. If you hit T, you can notice it. Yeah, the phone doesn't. There it is. So it sends back the temperature. If I press B, I can turn a blinking LED on. If I press F, turn it off. B for on. And T for your temperature. Alright, so that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, visit arginic.com for more details. Thanks.